stuff. And it's it's a last for for this because it's thick. It'll last for a while. See. So here again, as long as I keep pressure on this, I can push this. And this were this were be better if it was a slightly bigger uh, clamp. You see, but it's not. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have this guy in this hand push this here, push it down with my weight. There. Get this in here. That's all I need to do. Have the pad. As you put pressure on this, it's going to pull it in, but you have to watch it doesn't jump off. So now it's going to get the final amount that I need. Before I come in all the way, I go slowly here. It's a drag when they crack. Because you're pretty much, when you're doing a nib job like this, it's, you have to start over. So you have to be sure it didn't get trapped here, which it didn't. See, we want this out, this nice curve here. I'm gonna bring it in in a minute. But the whole logic of this is that it's the tip that you want. Notice that the tip is, is deeper than it needs to be. So I don't need to be down here because this is gonna get cut back anyway. So I bring this in like this, bring it in. Bring it in, let it, let it take a moment to stretch. And at the same time, I will also come in with another guy, uh, this guy, who will catch under here. I want this to come in now, here. This is fine, this landing here is totally fine. Coming here, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a nice soft cedar pad here. See, the kind of pad is important. The pad should be softer or the same as the wood. This is the dangerous part, because you're bringing this in. You saw the curve on the other one. So you trap it here first. Now I'm gonna be building the curve in out here. I, I leave a gap on purpose. This is not intended as a final fit. This is just intended as the initial fit, which is about capturing this shape. You see, let it come in. Let it come in, and that guy, if it lifts, it's no problem. We want it to do that, because then we can bring it in from there. This comes in, see, keeps coming in. This, the stem itself may have an angle that we will increase later. This guy has, has had a moment to, to stretch, gonna come more. How much more? As strong as I am, which is not very strong anymore, 70, but it's as uh, strong as I am, I will keep bringing it in. I don't want to crush it, however. Okay? That's where you don't want to hear it. Yeah. So this is far enough in so that by the time that I bring it back. Now, the next thing I'll do, I'll, I'll bring it down here. Notice these guys prevented this from dropping because you, like, you lose a huge amount of time if this were to drop. Trap back there. Here, I'll bring it in. I'd rather have a deep clamp here to get it at the top. So I'll come in here, come around to here to bring this guy in here. See, because what I want is to grab the frame, but I want to grab it high, like here, or high enough that it pulls in the top. See, like this, because that's part of the shape of this. This will come in here. See, mm -hmm. closes up here. Now. I will then take this guy. Do we have another, yeah, we have another one of these? While I'm doing this, I will cause this to slide up here. I'll bring this here, bring this here. I'll bring this here. Back away from the frame so I have enough room to spin this. And that just, yeah, holds it, you see? Let it go, let it go, because you should see, you're alone. You're completely alone in your shop. Believe me, it's better. It's better you learn to do it alone. And if you happen to have a brother-in-law or a friend or whoever to help you, well, then that's fine. But usually, it's a lonely profession. <laughs> and then when you're teaching it, you, so then you'd have to go around. So that, I don't mind. Somebody picks it up. That's fine. So let's try letting it go again. I should have held it better here. And... Uh, Come back, too much. So here you have plenty of time because what you're wanting to do is let the fiber stretch up there. 
But here there's kind of a ledge, and this is not perfect, you see? So I'm gonna lower this to here, like so, and then bring it up to the top, and then bring this guy in. So these are wonderful because you can back load them here, see? So I can do, I can push this guy in, if it was cooperate here. There we go. So you have lots of time now. It's basically a done deal at this point. The only thing left is to uh, have it, it's still very warm, so you can keep adjusting it. And what we want is that this should get pulled in. I just want to pull this up on this side before I bring it down at the top there. Okay. Now it's moving. See, the plank over here is moving in, okay? Moving up, see? Mm-hmm. And you want to do that. See, I have to loosen this a little bit to do that. If I don't, it could be a problem, see? So loosen this one, not this one. That one's going to be fine. But this one, loosen it, come up, up. It, it moved, and now I just have to reset this. And if I were taking the time in advance to do this particular thing, I would have put a bevel on one for that side out of cedar. This I'll get down a little bit deeper this time. Okay, here it comes again. It's up, up, up to there. This guy is creeping up. We see how much is creeped up here. And that's what they want. You want the excess because you're going to need it later down here, you see? Mm -hmm. So this guy now can have more also. And what you're going to see is the result, like what's over on the bench. This can get more planing, more of a bevel if it needed it for caulking. But it's basically done. And... Um, this part of the boat is too thin. We have to put nibs. From here on out, it's no nibs, it's easy. But this part is, has usually a lot of twists in mm -hmm. these kind of boats. Okay. So there you go. That's Thank it. you very much. You're very welcome.